we have a band here called the Nihilus Spasm Band. There's a singer and drums, uh, electric guitars, bass, kazoos, and a slide clarinet. All the instruments are homemade. We have a Nihilus party here, kind of a political party, and, uh, we, and the band just gradually grew out of it. We're continually altering the instruments. Guitars are played, you play them by warping and twisting them and tightening the strings. And uh, the drums are, uh, the drum has a funny sound now. And the bass is, uh, it's an electric bass, but it's covered with door springs. And when you pluck the major strings, the door springs vibrate and you get this big clashing sound.
one steps on Mickey Mouse. He coughs. Seven ginger snaps and one arrowroot on a white plate. She has left the singer. Mickey Mouse squeaks. The Javas cluck. He coughs. The lemon yellow canary walks on the floor. White sewing bag, Newport fluffs, all on our big, all on our bright blue round table, six feet in diameter, with six chairs around it, purple, red, orange, and blue, yellow, orange, green. a blue Canadian banker's stamp pad and the following stamps. Two dots, three quarter, reduced to one quarter and two dots, a comma. A piece of orange polythene plastic, uh, plastic bottles of ink, I was born in London. You're in beautiful country.
And I start off by drawing cartoons. My interest has always been there. always been in some kind of figurative thing. Fitzy Pruden, Jack Britton, Jimmy Wilde, Tommy Farr, Fighting Harada, Al Delaney, Connie Chaplin, Arthur Cavan, Al Boyd, Battling Siki, Romeo Brennan, Muhammad Ali, Walter McGowan, James J. Parker. I think the term pop art's an awfully narrow term. I'm just dealing with what a lot of painters have dealt with, just my immediate surroundings. I deal with, uh, to quite an extent, with actual things. What communicates with me is experience.
the nihilist doctrine is very contradictory. That's its whole, that's its beauty. I think there may be a certain useful life to a painting, and beyond that, it's a historical object. For that reason, I have no, no, com no uh, qualms about putting in topical, immediate things that will date very quickly. I am like an outdoor painter in that nearly everything I paint has been seen outside or read in the news media or seen in magazines, and I bring it back here and work on it. I just want to keep it the way it is, where my painting is integrated with everything else I do, where I feel genuine about it. As long as I feel the work is genuine, I think that there, there are going to be similarities between paintings. Well, nihilism is a good word. It means nothing. It, 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 means, it means reduction, you know. It, it, with regards to my feelings about art, I know that my feelings are definitely nihilistic. I am not at sympathy with our society, and consequently I am not sympathetic with the dealer system. I think there must be better ways of doing things. It's nice to be able to make a comment. Um, often the comment in a painting will be taken a little more seriously than just a straight comment made in conversation. I'm trying to make the whole thing. I'm trying to put the whole thing together.